everyone, the grid represents the streets of a city. So if a person at point X is going to walk to point Y by traveling south or east, how many routes from X to Y are possible? So first of all, before we get started, let's know what south. South means down, you know, down south. East means go to the right. So this would be east and this would be south. So you're going down. So he could go uh, down uh, south one, east twice, down south here. You know, it could be anything like that, but that's the, the idea. So we're trying to find how many routes there are. So let's look at one route. So we're starting here and here. One possible route would be south, south, so south, south, and then one east, um, and then one south, so east, one south, and then let's do three east, and one south, so one, two, three, and then one south, then that leaves us two east. Okay, so other, rep um, other routes also could be represented doing something like that. But each time what you're going to get is always four S's and six E's. All right, because there's four one, two, three, four this way, and six this way. This is a four by six. And we have a total of four plus six is ten. So our total is ten, and we're going to use our number of permutations of things not all different. So we're going to put ten factorial divided by four factorial times six factorial. I'm going to put S. 6 factorial, and this equals 210 possible routes from X to Y. Now, I already did another video on this, um, but I don't think I explained it as well. It's a little harder than this one. So this is, whoops, sorry. This is the one that I did. So what I'm going to do, if you're interested in this one, I'm going to attach it to this video, so you might want to uh, look a little further because it has these two questions here that you might want to look at. And that's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. A person bicycles along the city street shown by always traveling south, then east. So that means you're going south, then east, like that. All right, um, find the number of possible routes from x to y, x to q, q to y, x to y to q. And then we're going to write to the nearest tenth of a percent, what percent of the routes from x to y pass through q. So, uh, for the first one, we're going from x to y. So again, goes south, so it's down six, so that's six, heard of down south, okay. 6 south, and then going to the uh, right here, that's 8 east. Now that adds up to 14, so that's your total, and we're using um, this formula here. So that's going to be your uh, number of permutations of things not different. So that's going to be 14 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 8 factorial. And just use your calculator and you're going to get 3,003 routes. Okay, that's this one. Now the next one, x to q. So going, uh, we're going to go uh, 2 south <coughs> and 5 east. That's a total of 7. So you're going to use 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 factorial. 
that equals 21 routes. <coughs> the next one's Q to Y. So for that one, we're going um, 4 south. So this is south. And then we're going 3 east. So let's write that down. 4 south, 3 east. So that's a total of 7. So it's going to be 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 3 factorial. That equals 35 routes. So that's that one. And D, X to Y to Q. So for that one, we're going to use parts B and C. So we're going to use these two. So that was um, 21 routes. from X to Q and 35 routes from Q to Y. <clears throat> so all you do is you multiply these two. That's using your counting principle <clears throat> or your multiplication principle. So that's going to be 21 times 35. That equals 735 routes from X to Y via Q. We'll say it more like that. All right. Now, the last question is B. To the nearest tenth percent, what percent of the routes from X to Y pass through P? <clears throat> so, um, let's duplicate this page. All right. So, for that... We know um, every route from X to P, so here's X, oops, X, and then P was, okay, I had to write these down. So for basically, to do this problem, we have to do from X to P, cover seven blocks, which are three south, and uh, 4 east. So there are, and it's 7, so that's 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 4 factorial. So that gives you 35 routes from X to P. Okay, similarly, we have the same thing going on with this one. So we're 3 south, 4 east from P to Y. So this one was from X to P and then from P to Y that's going to be the same thing. 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 4 factorial which is 35 routes. Alright. Therefore total that's going to be uh, 35 times 35, which equals uh, 1,225 from X to Y via P. Um, there are 3,000 from A, 3,003 routes <coughs> from X to Y. So that gives you, um, when you divide out, you're going to get the percentage. Let's see this on the next slide. So to get the percentage, you're going to take 1,225 divided by 3,003, which is approximately uh, 0 0.4079. Or you could say about 40.8% of the routes. So this is going to be of routes from X to Y 
pass through the shorthand this P. So this one. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.